We're out here today at, on Britt Lynn at the Britt Lynn Trailer Park in Yulee, uh, an area where we're constantly having issues uh, with drug sales. We uh, served a search warrant on a trailer, some sheds back behind me. Um, they've been selling meth out of this place. Um, it's an area that we're trying to clean up. We're constantly being called in this area, so hopefully uh, uh, people will get the message that uh, you should sell illegal drugs in our county, we're coming after you. So uh, this is one example of that. The Nassau County Sheriff's Office Narcotics Unit arrested two people in the Britland Trailer Park off of Page's Dairy Road in Yulee. 43-year-old Jacob Allen Cook and 42-year-old Angela Marie Herman. Both are charged with possession of methamphetamine. Cook has an additional charge of possessing a weapon by a convicted felon, and Herman has an additional charge of possessing drug paraphernalia. Other people on the scene were also detained and interviewed, but no charges were filed on those people, so we have blurred their faces. We came to the neighborhood to issue a search warrant at Cook and Herman's home. Both of them were read the warrant and given an explanation of why we were investigating the residence. Detectives located a small plastic container containing a crystal-like substance inside the dresser drawers. That substance was removed and tested at the scene with a positive result of methamphetamine, weighing 8.6 grams. We also found a toolbox containing multiple glass pipes with residue of methamphetamine as well as small baggies that contained that residue of methamphetamine as well. We also found scales with the residue of methamphetamine and an ammo box containing 2022 20, caliber bullets and small unused plastic baggies that are consistent with those used for packaging narcotics. Due to those items being found, Cook was placed under arrest and taken to our narcotics unit interview room for more questioning. A record search of Cook's criminal history indicates he has been convicted of multiple felonies with a third degree felony for possession of controlled substance back in 2016, as well as possession for controlled substance third degree felony just last year. Herman was also questioned. Both were booked into the Nassau County Jail.